<laughs> oh yes just have a look at this one well good morning folks and welcome back to yet another hopefully spicy episode you know one of the things that gets me going the most when it comes to fishing is not going for the biggest fish nor catching the maximum number of fish but to try some cool new crazy lures and that's exactly what we are doing today this is the lure that I'm talking about and it's basically a merge between a spinnerbait and kind of an Alabama rig. It's a spinnerbait with three arms and three blades like this. Looks super crazy and I just tried it in the water down here and it swims just as crazy as it looks. So I'm super stoked to try it. It's uh, designed by an Italian company called Molix and it's not the first cool crazy lure they put in the market. And uh, now, I mean, ever since I first saw this one, I just, you know, knew I had to try it. Not necessarily because I think it will catch more or bigger fish than any of my other lures. It's rather the opposite. More like, will I even be able to catch a fish or get a bite on this crazy thing? Or will this simply be just, you know, too much for them to handle? Especially in this, uh, you know, clear water. We're in the Baltic Sea. This lure was designed for bass by American, you know, bass elite master whisperer Mike Iconelli. And even though we don't have bass around here, I mean, pike should be able to smack this one if you're hungry. After all, it does imitate some kind of bait fish, so it should work. We're just gonna start fishing, but before we do, let me know in the comments below, will I be able to catch anything on this or not? Let's do this. All right, let's get started. This is what it looks like. Maybe it's just me who gets all crazy about things like this, but I just can't wait to see if we can catch something on this. I tried it in the water before, and it looks, seems like the blades are still spinning on the drop. Yes, they do. That's a great advantage. Then you can kind of jig it along the bottom or give it a straight retrieve. It should be rather weedless, but with all of this bling bling going on, it might not be fully as weedless as a traditional spinnerbait. We'll see about that. One thing that I've also been curious about is how heavy this uh, thing is to reel in. It is rather heavy, <laughs> but it's a lot of stuff going on on it, so that's not strange. Fishing it with my Revo X combo from Abu Garcia. Seven foot up to 30 grams. Seems to work just fine. It does catch weed quite easily, it feels like. But I think we'll manage. I'm gonna experiment with a bunch of different trailers later on as well. Maybe even put on something, you know, pike size, like a Monkey Shadow 14 or Nettle Juvenile or something. See if we can turn it into a big pike lure. But first off, let's, let's try to catch a fish. One really funny thing is that the, the two blades on the sides are spinning at one pace and the blade in the middle are spinning at a slower pace, you know, at another speed. So I can just imagine that, you know, these fish are getting a lateral line or gas as this one passes by from all the vibrations. And then on the drop, it keeps working. From the moment it hits the water, it does its magic. So let's get moving. This is today's talon. <laughs> And here's our trolling motor. For silent transportation between the spots. Let's try here in the canal. Between these two cove and the open ocean. Oh no, had one. Scheiße, that was something biting. We're gonna switch away from this uh, white uh, purple color and go over to this one, which has uh, two silver blades and one gold blade. Still kind of a natural color. And I'm gonna fish it without the trailer to see, maybe we'll have a better chance to catch a perch or something when we debark a little bit. So let's try. Fish on! There we go, what is it? We have something on there. Oh man, oh man, oh man. It's a perch, we have a perch on this uh, spinnerbait. There we go. Oh yes. That's a uh, mission accomplished. 
We caught a fish on this uh, lover spinnerbait, but I did not think we would catch a perch of all things. Especially not on this water where I'm at right now. I basically never catch perch in these hoods during summer. Awesome colors of this perch, look at that. And this lure color with uh, two silver blades and one gold blade in the middle, working its magic in this uh, kind of clear, but still a little bit murky water. It worked, it worked. <laughs> Like I guess in this uh, channel or canal between these two parts of this archipelago we have a little bit of current, a little bit of depth and that kind of place will hold fish basically all year round but especially when you have a little bit warmer water. Let's see if we can catch a few more. Fish off, fish off. Damn, that must have been pike. Look at that whirl. The fish are killing this thing. Perch, probably pike. Ooh, follower, it's following. Very nice size pike. It's right down here. That's so exciting. That perch had perfectly swallowed, you know, this part of the lure, but I don't know. Maybe they can go for the blades as well, making it hard to hook them. You can see that we have current coming from that direction going this way since uh, we have the wind pushing and then i guess the water mass from that the bay is pushing out in this bay creating this nice current here in the middle we're gonna get moving i kind of miss the north silver with a trolling motor and talon and everything but this uh, back to basic fishing is a hell of a fun too. Spinner baits are known to be quite okay to fish in grass. But to be honest, uh, this one is catching a little bit more grass than a normal spinner bait. So it's not really ideal for this kind of stuff. But if you fish it with your rod tip upwards a little bit, you just twitch that grass off. No, no. <laughs> Snap the line. Uh, it's, I'm hooked on a pike. No, that sucks in so many ways. I mean, of course, losing the lure, but that's the least part. I mean, that pike with the lure in his mouth, that's not good. In the best of worlds now, I will see this line swimming around. It's even though he ate right beside the boat. Uh, the line snapped in the reel here. I must have damaged the line or something. That has never happened to me in a hook set. We'll keep our eyes open for that line to float up, but there's nothing more we can do. It's just a single hook. So hopefully he'll get rid of that lure from his mouth. And we all know what happens when you remove the tension from, uh, you know, when you fight a fish and you give it a little bit of slack line, the lure comes off. So we'll hope that's the case for this fellow too. And now we'll need to try another color, I guess. As you've probably already seen in other videos, I like to use these uh, ready-made wire leaders from darts. This is a 15 kilo breaking strength Wolfram leader. They are light and thin and won't affect the movement of the lures while still being pipe proof. These ones have never failed me so far and it's very convenient to have them ready tied like this. And so far I've never been outfished by any of my friends who have been using fluorocarbon leaders so uh, I don't think it makes any negative impacts. That's one for the to-do list, to do a fluorocarbon versus wire leader for perch fishing challenge. Let us know in the comments below if you would like to see that. Now this kind of place where you have a weed line and then it stops and uh, you know meets a rock or you know something changes in the structure this is always an interesting type of spot i mean i learned that from experience but the man who put the word on it uh, for me was Frederick julian a dear friend if we're gonna go fishing with one person you know to learn the most and get the maximum number of theories about stuff then you should go fishing with Frederick julian he's a master of theory <laughs> He can explain basically anything. Why is that fish standing here, not there? Why is this lure working and not this lure? And how should you do this the best way? Ask Mr. Julian.
Maybe this chartreuse thing is too much. I'm gonna do something real drastic. Not sure if it's gonna work, but I can turn this one into a more pikey kind of lure by putting on a bigger trailer. Ha ha ha! Look at that! Beast mode on! So if this bling bling is too much, now the bling bling makes a smaller percentage of the lure. And instead they have this nice and bulky monkey shad 14 to grab. And uh, it also kind of neutralizes the color of this uh, whole lure. So it gets a little bit more natural looking, I guess. I'm gonna fish this now on my Gator Swimbait Explorer Rod, 7 foot 10. And my Daiwa Tatula Pike Reel. Awesome stuff. Oh, this is check the swimming action first. Oh yeah. So let's try. Just to have some kind of reference, you know, whether this is a good lure or not. I'm gonna try something rather, you know, fail safe. Give this one a few casts, the regular flat nose mini. A 10 gram jig head. I've covered this area now with a spinnerbait. And uh, if I catch something on this now, we'll see a difference. It's not gonna be a strict, you know, versus this versus this video or anything, but I just wanna have a reference how good or bad this lure actually is. If I only use that lure, I won't know. Fish on! Oh yes! It worked! It worked with this monkey shad trailer! Ah yes, yes, yes! We have a pike on the hook, folks! On this crazy spinnerbait! We're catching pike, we're catching perch! Come to daddy! There we go! We have the pike that we've tried so hard to catch. Now that was a hard take, I can tell you that. I was a little bit afraid that we wouldn't hook the fish and would have needed a stinger with this uh, larger trailer. But no, we didn't. That was absolutely perfect. First bite, first hooked fish. It was actually very nice to fish it with my pike rod, the gator with a tattoo reel, because then it could reel it through the weeds much easier. We are slowly run running out of time, so let's put this girl back and see if we can catch a few more. Now that's a uh, job done, if you ask me. We caught a perch and we caught a pike on this uh, lover spinnerbait, super crazy stuff. So now I've proved it for myself, you can catch fish on this crazy lure. And it actually feels like it's doing the job pretty well too. I mean, the pike and perch can hear it from a far distance. And uh, as long as they're hungry and on the hunt, they should grab it, which they have done too. I've had a little bit of a struggle to hook the pike so far and I lost that lure, but uh, now I have one which landed, so I'm super happy. At the time of filming this video, you cannot find this uh, spinnerbait in our e-commerce, but I'm gonna make sure that these guys will be available when we release this video. And of course, these uh, trailers that I've been using as well, it's um, Monkey Shad, Monkey Rib. Also, you know, we have the kind of got this range of lures, Flat Nose Shad, the M-War lures and so on. And if you have a tackle shop and would like to sell, these lures and by doing so supporting this channel and making these videos possible feel free to send us an email to Sarah and she will help you out that also goes for the gear the rods and reels and stuff that we use they can also be found in there end of commercial message let's keep fishing I'll try one last thing with this I think I'm gonna try this Nettel Juvenile. I tried this on a Shatterbait last year, the Mega Bass Wild Header, and totally fell in love with it badly. So maybe it will do the trick for this one too, as a pike lure. Yeah, that's gonna work. Definitely. Look at that. <laughs> oh. I just love this shit. Experimenting, trying different, different lures and different combinations, and I've done this since I was a kid. When I used a traditional spoon, I couldn't help but try to put a tail on the back. Or when I used a jerk bait, I put a paddle behind it or fished it the wrong way, you know, backwards. I just love it. That's so fun. Huh. 
I see it lure all the time. So if something will bite, I will see it. Bass cast here. Well, it hurts to say, but it's uh, getting time to call it today and head back home. To uh, summarize today, we can say that uh, I, I would call it the job done. We caught fish on this crazy lure, both pike and perch. We didn't catch any monsters, but that's not what it's all about. It's all about having fun and enjoying your time on the water. And that's exactly what we have done today. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. We have grown so much for the last uh, few months. So I would love to hear from you guys in the comments. Where are you watching from? That would be super interesting to hear. If you want to grab yourself one of these uh, crazy ass spinner baits, you can get them up here. If you like what we do, feel free to subscribe up here. And if you like this video, I think you would also like this one and this one. Ciao.